Change could be in the near future for school transportation funding if a bill on the state Senate picks up traction. Our Josh Peterson tells us how the state legislature is working to fix the funding formula that would help some Minnesota public schools, including Bemidji, from having massive budget deficits. It's a service that is relied on across the state, transportation to and from school. But for years, some school districts in greater Minnesota have been battling a continual deficit when it comes to funding for transportation. In a district like Bemidji, where we transport a large number of our students over a great distance, uh, we end up being treated not quite so well. The current formula goes off the number of students attending a particular school, not how many of those students use school transportation services. Because of that, last year, the Bemidji School District ran a deficit over $755,000, compared to the St. Paul School District, who made over $6 million in busing students. The revenue side reimburses school districts based on students who attend school and maybe don't even ride the bus. This map illustrates in gold the size of the 825 square mile Bemidji School District compared to the entire Twin Cities Metro. With a school district as big as Bemidji, it can be extremely expensive when it comes to transportation. The yearly transportation deficit has had a major impact on area schools. For Bemidji, it's taking money out of classrooms and much needed tools for students. Comes out of the classroom, it uh, prohibits us from hiring additional teachers, uh, from buying additional textbooks, uh, for spending more money on technology. Uh, we are required uh, to spend the money on transportation. At the state capitol, lobbying continues as legislators work to correct the formula that has been in place since 1995. Currently, a bill in the Senate is working with school districts in Forest Lake and Bemidji that would relate the formula to the cost of services being provided. This has given Bemidji residents talking points during their annual visit to the capitol last week. Between myself and her and a couple other members that are on there, okay. I think it has a pretty good chance. You know, nothing's 100% around here. While the issue has been close to being resolved in recent years, the hope is that this year's legislative session will be the one that brings fairness in funding back home. In Bemidji, Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. A bill to restructure the transportation funding formula is currently in the state Senate. According to legislators, Senate File 1026 has bipartisan support and is expected to get a floor vote. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.